Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of High on Life Talks About 10 Reasons to Do Stuff. Today we are featuring 10 Reasons to Travel Solo. We learn how to do things alone. Very often, very many of us will rely on our family and our friends to help us with decisions, advice, taxes, whatever it may be. When you're traveling on the road by yourself, all of these decisions are now up to you and only you. Sure, you can get advice from people here and there, but that's part of the acquired skill set that you develop while traveling on your own. And it's a very important skill set to have. It's easier than trying to plan for a group. When you're by yourself, you ultimately decide on what you want to do. It's as simple as that. You get to decide on where you go, what you want to do, where you, how long you want to stay in for one place. It's your trip and it's an expression of you to be by yourself on the road. You embrace spontaneity. When traveling solo, you can change your itinerary and your destination and what you're doing at the flip of a switch. It's incredible being solo, the freedom you have to actually just hone in on those random and unique things that come into your experience. For example, you're off in the morning to go do a hike. You meet someone on the hike who says, I'm going to this tree fort at night and you know, gonna have a you know, crazy drum circle there. So you end up dropping your other plans and you go to this one. You're at the drum circle at night and someone says, hey, I'm gonna take a catamaran over to this island tomorrow morning. Do you wanna join? All right, you drop your other plans. This level of spontaneity yields so much incredible adventure. That to me is the epitome of living in the moment because you're drawn by whatever really intrinsically is motivating you to go. So it's like, do I go left or right? What do I feel is the best option? Let's go. The level of spontaneity is uh, all time high when traveling solo and it's a lot of fun. When traveling in a group, it's a little bit tougher to do this because you need group consensus most of the time. So when those really unique opportunities opportunities present themselves, rather than getting the group's consensus, you can just go and do it on your own. You will test your boundaries. It's about how far you're willing to go with your comfort level. You don't have your friends around peer pressuring you, you're just by yourself, so it's really what you are comfortable with and what you want to push yourself, which defines you when you're on the road. Say you want to get up and go to a hike or a cliff jump, you don't have someone telling you to go do it, it's just you and your mind and yourself saying, do I want to do this? So you really get to know yourself and really know what you are capable of. When I started many years ago and started solo travel, I really had to take myself out of my comfort zone and go talk to people at a hostel or hiking or walking down the street. And it was hard for me to initially do it, but you realize every single time afterwards, you just realize you meet a good group of people, you have a good experience, you learn something new about the world you're in or that yourself included. So just think about it, before you go do something, realize what the benefits are. You realize in the short term, just having an awkward moment or just trying to get out of yourself and have a conversation sometimes can bring you into a crazy world and get you on a new adventure. You learn how to stand up for yourself. Without the posse behind you or your better half speaking up for you when you decide to stay silent, you will inevitably have times where you need to hold your ground, show some dominance, protect yourself, and in the end, stand up for yourself. you can crush your bucket list. What better way to knock off those really unique things that only you want to do? You want to go hike that volcano? You go do it. You want to go ride a tiger through the jungle? You go do it. You can essentially do anything you want when you're by yourself. No one's holding you back. You gotta do a little research, figure out where you are in the world and what it has to offer and you go take down and do exactly what you want to do because you are in charge of your own adventure and you're by yourself so just take it by the reins and just go. No one's holding you back. It's a great way to have a unique experience and check that list off that you have. So get it done. Oh! 
Learn the art of small talk. You will have to communicate with a lot of people. You will have to communicate with strangers. You will need to plan things. You will need to ask directions. You will need to give directions or give orders to where you're going. Either way, you have to make all of the communication yourself. You don't have anybody else to do it for you. And in different places, you're going to be speaking with people that you've never spoken with before. You're going to be speaking with people that don't speak the same language exactly. And this communication thing, this small talk thing, is a very important skill set for you to learn because you can use it for the rest of your life. It is an ability and a skill that you're not going to not need ever. You'll hone in on your personal interests. You just can't feel ashamed if you want to read a book for a week or sit on a beach and do nothing or explore a jungle trek by yourself or, you know, have a spa day. When you're alone and traveling solo, these opportunities are there for you. And you get to really explore what you're interested in. A lot of the time you get to learn about yourself and actually understand, what are the things I really want to do? Hmm. Spa week doesn't sound so bad. Learn how little you need to survive and to thrive. After just a short time on the road, you will have a pretty good understanding of the items that you need to have with you while you're traveling, and you will have a good grasp of the items that you really didn't need to take with you on the road in the first place. It's interesting to note how much we think we need while we're traveling, and then to get rid of these items and see how free and liberating that it really is without them, and that, in fact, you did not need them. When it's just you on the road, you really hone in on the items that you need and don't need and what is extraneous and what is necessity. You learn you're never actually alone. When traveling solo, you're offered the opportunity to make new friends when you want to make new friends. I mean, the joys of being a traveler is you're never actually alone and you're always gonna be surrounded by people. Unless if you're in you know, some desolate area in the desert, which you'd be surrounded by sand. Move on. Anyways, it's quite a unique opportunity you're afforded because if you want to be an introvert, you can. You can just sort of, you know, block off the world and have your own experience on your own. But whenever you want, you can connect with someone. You can connect with the people at the hostel that you're staying at or the people that are, you know, working for the activities company that you want to go do. Say hi to locals on the street or other travelers that you meet. All you got to do is move your feet. <laughs> and whether those are just transient relationships that last an hour, five minutes, or a week. Some of those relationships, A, turn into incredible experiences, and B, those relationships help you understand more about yourself, be more confident about yourself. You really come home with the understanding that you're never gonna be alone in anything that you do in life. So, bada bing, bada boom. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you think we missed something, Leave us a comment. Let us know, you know, your ideas of why you think solo travel is best. Um, or if you like group travel more, let us know why. And please, share this video with someone who's thinking about traveling and maybe they need that extra push. I mean, the ultimate takeaway is traveling helps you grow. And whether you're doing it solo or as a group, it's an incredible experience. My favorite point out of all these 10 is you're never going to be alone. So don't use that as an excuse, please. And uh, yeah. Look forward to some more top tens. Love you guys. Ciao.
Kau pilu wak di sini Wak di sini Wak di sini Kau pilu wak di sini Alright